These days, the Alaska Highway is mainly thought of as the arterial road through the Peace and Northern Rockies regions, connecting Dawson Creek to Fort St. John, Fort Nelson, and beyond. But during World War II, the road was a pioneering trail, hacking through the bushes of northern Canada, nearly 2,000 miles from Dawson Creek to Fairbanks, Alaska. One of the most noteworthy achievements was the Sikany Chief River Bridge. To commemorate U.S. Memorial Day, dozens gathered at the site of the old bridge to honor soldiers who cut through the wilderness over nine months in 1942. The Memorial Day commemoration is in conjunction with Juneteenth, which remembers the Emancipation Proclamation and the first steps toward the end of slavery in the United States. Reverend Dr. Ronald Myers, head of the Juneteenth Committee in the United States, says his interest was piqued at a Juneteenth ceremony in Alaska. This is just a wonderful occasion for me because I did not even know about these soldiers until two years ago when we had an Alaska Juneteenth conference. I'm the National Juneteenth Holiday Chairman for the entire United States. And my Juneteenth uh, uh, people who celebrated in Alaska had an Alaska Juneteenth convention two years ago. So I came up to uh, talk to them about the celebration of Juneteenth and to work with them. And we had a visit there from Governor Sarah Palin. And Governor Sarah Palin came in along with his, her husband, the first dude, and she uh, told the story about the Alaskan, African-American soldiers who built the Alcan Highway. And I was amazed. She said she just signed some legislation to um, memorialize them, a bridge that they built in Alaska. So I was intrigued by the story. I went back and did some research. And I went to the Internet and read, but you know you got to be careful what you read on the Internet. But I read on the Internet. It was uh, just an amazing story. And I learned about what they did in terms of building this bridge. Reverend Myers' son, U.S. Army Captain Ronald Myers, says it was the extraordinary work that black soldiers did at Sikany Chief which moved the case for equality forward in what was then a segregated armed forces. During this time frame, black soldiers were not equally treated with respect to their white counterparts. However, the military was a vehicle that these soldiers used to prove they could be treated equal. They did this by building the by building the Sikany Chief River Bridge in 72 hours. This accomplishment moved Lieutenant Colonel Heath Twitchell with his enlisted soldier with his enlisted soldiers completing that feat. Thus he ordered his white officers to eat with his enlisted soldiers, thus creating the first wave within the military for desegregation. To get a sense of the hardships endured by the soldiers who built the highway, Earl Brown from Milepost Magazine found a poem written by a soldier who worked on the highway, published in the magazine in 1950. This here, again, it's an unknown soldier, but it could have been one of the members of the 95th or one of the other people involved. Song of the Elkan Pioneers. They gave us a job and we did it. They said that it couldn't be done. They figured that time would forbid it. They'd licked us before we'd begun. But there she is, eagles above her, the road. See, she steams in the snow. She's ours, and oh, by God, how we love her. But now, marching orders, we go. We started with nothing and won her. We diced for her honor with death. We starved, froze, and died upon her and damned her with agonized breath. Blood red rose the sun at her setting, blood red ran the snow where we lay. Cold white are the graves we're forgetting, cold white are our ashes today. We leveled the mountains to find her, we climbed from the pit to the sky. We conquered the forest to bind her, we burrowed where mastodons lie. Smooth, straight, and true we have fashioned. Clean she is, living aglow. The road, feel her, vibrant, impassioned. And now, marching orders we go. Go from the stardust of June night. Go from the beauty we won. Little lost lakes in the moonlight. 
snow steep spires in the sun. We lend you the road, we who made it, and bright may your victories burn. We lend you the road, we who laid it, until the day we return. The celebration in the peace almost didn't happen. When Dr. Myers was researching the Alaska connection to black soldiers in World War II, he happened to contact April Moy from Tourism Dawson Creek. Well, we received a call from Reverend Myers and Bishop Thomas uh, a few months ago, and they were uh, looking, uh, they wanted to know uh, the historical mile marker uh, on which the Sikkany River was located. And once we learned the reason why they wanted to come uh, to lay a wreath and um, to recognize the uh, black troops and their contribution to the construction of the highway, we really felt that it deserved um, it, it deserved uh, some uh, support from the community in order to make it an event that was truly um, worthwhile. The Juneteenth and Memorial Day ceremonies in the Peace Region, along with a free jazz concert over the weekend in Fort St. John, will now be an annual occurrence in the Peace, set to return for Memorial Day 2012. For Around the Peace, I'm Andre DaCosta at Sikkany Chief.